Today, we're gonna to do a word search. Next, I'll talk with Dr. Randy Ansamo about ways to keep our body healthy and strong. And finally, it's story time. We'll read one of my favorite books, Lots of Love, Little One. So let's get started. I love playing games. Let's play a game of word search and see what we can find. Can you find the word B? Take a look. You ready? B E E B. Can you find the word plane? I'll give you a minute to look. You ready? P L A N E. Plane. Can you find the word sun? Look around. Got it? S U N. Sun. Can you find the word cloud? Take a peek. You ready? C L O U D. Cloud. Can you find the word horse? I'll give you a minute to look. You ready? H O R S E. Horse. Can you find the word pig? I'll give you a few minutes to look. You ready? P I G. Pig. Can you find the word cow? Take a minute to look. You ready? C O W. Cow. Can you find the word chick? I'll give you a minute to look. You ready? Chick. C H I C K. Chick. Can you find the word seal? I'll give you a minute to look. You ready? S E A L, seal. Can you find the word whale? Take a minute to look. Ready? W H A L E, whale. Can you find the word crab? Go ahead and look. Ready? C R A B, crab. Can you find the word fish? Take a minute to look. You ready? F I S H, fish. In this segment of When I Grow Up and Want to Be Me, I'm going to be interviewing people with all kinds of really interesting and cool jobs. This week, I talked to Dr. Randy Ansamo. Dr. Randy is a primary care doctor, and he helps families and people of all ages. Hi, Dr. Randy. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Sandra. It's great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. We have some questions. Um, this segment is called When I Grow Up, I Want to Be Me. So we're talking to all kinds of folks about, you know, when they knew what they wanted to be when they grew up. So I want to ask you that question. When did you know you wanted to be a doctor? <laughs> That's a tough question. I wanted to or thought about being a doctor when I was probably six years old and I got my first microscope. But I'm a pretty open-minded person, and so I thought about a lot of other things that I could be. Um, but I just kept coming back to that and I probably figured it out when I was in college. Oh, that's wonderful. So then in college, you took the steps to begin studying medicine? That's right. I had to take special classes and I had to work really hard to make sure that I got good grades and hope that they picked me when I applied to medical school. 
and it worked. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. We really appreciate it because so many kids want to be so many different things and it's a good idea to let them know how to start and how other people started. So we know today you are working in hospitals with children and probably grown-ups too who have what we're calling coronavirus. Can you tell us about the coronavirus and, and what that is? Sure, sure. So coronavirus is a virus, which is a kind of germ. And like all germs, they're so tiny we can't see them. But when they get on our bodies and sometimes get into our bodies, they can make us sick. And coronavirus, as you're hearing about it now, is just uh, one of many viruses, but it's one that's making a lot of people sick and it's making some people really, really sick. And I know that from talking with you before and listening to other doctors, there's a lot of things we can do to prevent and to help us from not getting the coronavirus. Could you share with us some of those ways that we can protect ourselves? Sure. Interestingly enough, it's all simple stuff. It's just that you have to be good at it and you have to be uh, able to do it a lot. So probably the most important thing is really simple. It's just washing your hands. Everybody knows how to wash their hands pretty much, but it's important that you wash them a lot, maybe more than you'd be used to while this virus is going around. It's important to use soap and water and it's important to wash your hands long enough. Again, probably longer than you're used to. One really handy way to figure out how long to wash your hands is to sing the happy birthday song twice over. You can sing it in your head or you can sing it out loud, but that's how you know you've washed your hands long enough. Another thing you can do that's harder because we don't think about it that much is to try not to touch your face. People touch their faces a lot just without thinking about it. But if you can think about it more and try not to, that's best. If you just have some something like an itch that you have to deal with, you can take a tissue, touch your face with a tissue and then throw it away. Um, if you find that you have to touch your face, if you can wash your hands beforehand and maybe even afterwards, that'll help. Okay. Another thing to do is if you have to cough or sneeze, never cough into the air and don't cough into your hands, but cough into your elbow. I say it's like uh, coughing like a vampire. So you go, <coughs> Another thing that you can do is to try to maintain some space between you and other people. If you think about if you and a friend stood near each other and stretched out your arms as far as you could, and you want to make it so that your fingertips don't touch. If you can stay that far away from people in general or even a little bit farther away, that's helpful. Dr. Randy, thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing all this great information. We're going to share it with kids everywhere and hopefully everyone's going to stay happy, well, and safe. That's great. Do your best, guys, to stay clean and to do the things that we talked about to keep yourself healthy, and that'll help everybody out. Wonderful. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Bye. I love a great story, and I'll bet you do too. So now it's time for story time. I'd like to read this book to you. It's called Lots of Love, Little One. You're a gift and a blessing in every way. I love you more each and every day. I love you more than all the stars that twinkle at night and all the fireflies that glow so bright. I love you more than all the languages spoken in the world and more than all the dancers that have ever twirled. I love you more than all the adventures you have ahead and more than all the peanut butter and jelly spread on bread. I love you so much, my precious little one. You are a light in my life like the moon and the sun. I love you as you sleep at night and play through the days. I love you yesterday, today, forever, and always. The world needs more kindness 